Zaxby's, indescribably good. Hello, Raider fans, and welcome to Something Different. The Mo Dixon Show, live, our first installment. Coach Dixon, welcome to Raider Valley and the Walton Raiders. I'm Kurt Schreiner, along with the new Walton Raider head coach. And, Coach, I guess the first question to ask you is, May 20th, you're announced as the new head coach of the Walton Raiders. What attracted you to the job? Well, number one, it was open. Yep. And uh, <laughs> second thing, no, it's just uh, very familiar with Walton. Uh, of course, I was in uh, – Used to be at North Gwinnett, and we have uh, battled back and forth a few times early when we first got there. And I've known uh, Ed, Rocky, Trip for years. Very close with that pro, very close to the program. Uh, Trip was really good to me. I, I've been on the national speaking circuit, whatever, uh, because of Trip. Trip was the one who helped me do that, and uh, which really was really good for you as a as a coach and helps your program. And uh, yep. so those guys, um, knowing them and being familiar with it, and naturally. Uh, you know, Rocky taking the job yep. at, uh, at Glen Academy. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of assumptions there. You know, naturally with Trip, I figured, like everybody else, Trip may be the next guy in line or, uh, um, you know, maybe uh, somebody on staff or whatever. And right. When I talked to those guys about it and, and they were telling me what their plans were, then I just thought, you know, I'd, I'd put my name in. So, uh, um, you know, a job like Walton usually doesn't become available like this, but I think it was a situation where – uh, it was all about timing, yep. and uh, you know, being where I was and uh, having been in, in some, a couple of good programs, I think got my foot in the door. And uh, so I went through it. And normally, I probably would just said, "Hey, uh, that job's," uh, you know, a little bit shy about it. But I, I threw my name in there because it was a job that, uh, you know, uh, and nowadays you want a place that's got, you you know, it's not like colleges and high school where you go in, you bring in staff in, and, right. But uh, so you got to have good people there, and they got incredible coaches here already. And just like I said, uh, after taking the job, really they just needed another guy here yep. that can make sure that uh, if it ain't broke, don't try fixing things. You know what I mean? So you've been here basically now 90 days. Yes, sir. essentially. And um, you know, you, you come in, you've got the community gets all all excited about about, about the new coach. But what was kind of your first priority? that you wanted to do? I mean, you know, once you met the players, what was the priority that you wanted to, to do with the players and kind of start to put your stamp on the program? Well, here was, here was actually my first thought. My thought it wasn't going to be about me. It was going to be about uh, naturally the kids, right. letting them know that, that we were, all right, you, you got your, your boss is here. Uh, you're, and then it was sort of coincide with the staff. It was, the staff was a really important situation because these are men that have, that uh, we've done battle against each other, but we know each other. But I want them to make sure that they knew everything was fine. I want them to be at ease, yep. which would make things. And, and I want them to get back to work or continue their work. And I was going to be an observer. And that's how we spent the whole first month of June. Mm -hmm. And me watching what we do. And for me to be able to evaluate things, a new program, uh, you know, there's certain things. Sometimes you go into a program and it needs fixing. Yep. Well, you got to learn the Walton way before you can see it. what do you bring to the table. Yep. And uh, that's, that's, that was my attempt. That my, was my approach. Uh, I think I, I handled it pretty good. The guys were great uh, because I think I, I wanted to make sure everybody understood you, you just keep doing what you're doing, you know. And, and, uh, and that kept, I think that kept the people at ease. And that way, and plus I got a chance to talk with people, just talking, right. asking questions. It wasn't like, Come in here, all right, everybody sign up for a 15-minute interview. Right. And uh, we sit down. I mean, that, I wasn't doing that with these guys. These guys are great men. They're great coaches. These kids, this community has the trust in those guys. And, uh, number one, I wanted to make, I wanted to keep all those guys. Yep, yep. So uh, I was going to try to out-duel out Rocky to keep them, I guess. <laughs> so, yep. But that's uh, that was sort of the plan. Not The uh, only thing I really knew I wanted to do was I just wanted to be a, a, a up-tempo team. That didn't mean that uh, that they weren't. I just right. knew that's what I wanted to right. do, but we would get to that later. Yep. Now, your background has been great defenses. And, you know, Coach Dixon, if you have been around as long as I have been, in 2007 we played you twice. Played you yep. the first game of the season, mm -hmm. played you the last game of the season. Right. The only two games that Walton lost that year. Yes. Um, your defenses were always ferocious. You're bringing, you know, now that you're on the field, you've been on the field for a couple mm -hmm. of weeks now, what have you been doing now, though, to kind of put your stamp 
onto the team and say, okay, this is what we're going to look like, guys, when we're on the field. Okay, I think the the biggest thing, and it's not that it was a, it was just a simple fact of implementing the way I, I want to run practice. Now that does not mean it's better than what was here before, because right. we've combined a lot of the same stuff. Uh, that's because naturally I wanted to get as close to what they were used to doing, mm -hmm. but uh, the up tempo practice, um, everybody everybody jumped right in, did a great job with that. That was a, that was the first thing. Um, Personally, um, I, I do like the spread stuff, but I'm a run guy, mm -hmm. and I like a tight end. I know from being on defense, a tight end does dictate to you. Mm -hmm. You know, now defensively, we feel well. Okay, this is how we're going to line up most of the time when you got tied in, but we still feel good about it. Right, right. But also knowing that, I know that forces people into that into certain situations, and we got Pigeon, who's a, a six seven, a good athlete, yep. who's a great blocker. He can be a glorified tackle on a lot of plays, but you can also, if you have to, move him out to the Y. And then, of course, bringing uh, the Letting kid in, now we've got two of those guys, which is uh, now we can go two tights and, and even be better at powering the football. So as you look at your offense, Coach, is there a, a scheme, a team, or a coach that you kind of have grown up watching and building your offense around, or is this something that's just kind of evolved over the course of your career? Well, here's the deal. I, I, I met Bob Spire young in my career, and we were a triple option, a belly reed team, right. old Oklahoma stuff, right. which was a great thing to learn at, at young. Then we were a true wing T team. A lot of people say they run the wing. We ran the true wing T. <laughs> then we went from the option to the wing T, run them both. Then we added the run and shoot to that. Had a lot of success. And then the Tony Franklin stuff came along in Kentucky. Right. Everybody started spreading it. Well, when I was in Florida, that's what I went to because like we got a three back offense. So uh, we were not we're going to run over people and uh, and we're going to run play action off of that and uh, but we're going to throw the ball spread it around and get it to different people. In other words, we don't want KK being pounded to death yeah, all the time. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, and after the show, we'll see if I still remember my old wing T keys <laughs> from when I played linebacker I in high you. school. We're going to take a break here. This is the Mo Dixon show sponsored by Zaxby's. We'll take a break. We'll be right back with the coach. Zaxby's indescribably good. Welcome back to the Mo Dixon Show. And, Coach, hey, we're less than a week away from a football game at Raider Absolutely. Valley. Play the South Gwinnett Comets on Friday night. Um, I'm not going to get specific about asking you some questions. I'm just going to kind of let you go with this one a little bit. But just kind of talk about the offense and the defense as you think it's going to set up on Friday night and kind of what you're, what you're looking forward to is uh, that first game that they actually really keep score on Friday. Well, if you're talk, are we talking about our side or their side first? Your side. We'll talk about right, your side. side. Okay. Let's talk we're, about your team, and then we'll, yeah, I'll ask you about South Carolina. Yeah, Korea. we're uh, we're a work in progress. Um, we're we're uh, there's certain spots that we look good in, certain spots we need uh, we need some work. But um, you know, we've had a, a few pre like a lot of teams some preseason injuries. We're getting some guys back. Yep. Um, how much we're going to have to, uh, you know, we want to be a two platoon team. Yep. Um, as we get closer, we'll make those decisions. Uh, we we may see some guys early. Playing both ways, yep, yep. and uh, and thin it out. We're, we we literally have three really good running backs. We've got a couple other guys uh, do a really good job. Uh, Brayon Thomas, uh, you got uh, Garrett does a good job running the ball, but they're also uh, uh, linebackers for us also. Yep, so right. uh, we're trying to get our best athletes on the field mm -hmm. on either side of the ball, and um, you know I think you'll see some traditional uh, uh, Walton uh, Walton type plays, uh, uh, power running. Um, uh, we've got a, a, a kid in, uh, uh, Sam Letton, Coach Letton, mm -hmm. our uh, new uh, associate head coach and yep. offense coordinator, his son, uh, a very good football player. And yep. um, we got two good looking tight end type kids. And um, we got a couple kids out. We've lost uh, uh, Bryce L Washington. He'll be back in about a week. And uh, so we're going to try to work the ball around, you know, and uh, pass when we want to pass, pass when we have to. Yep. Run when we want to, run when we have to. And uh, defensively, again, we're trying to get a lot of speed out there. Um, Stu does a great job. Coach Stewart does a great job. And uh, he, we're trying to adapt our defense, my defense with the defense that Rocky's been running. And uh, it's, it's gone pretty well. The Good. kids, are they really pick it up. And uh, 
uh, aggressiveness, and uh, we, we're just going to go out there and first game that the, the um, you know getting here a little bit late. Uh, we didn't get to go to camp. That's a peeve of mine. Uh, we'll get that next year, but uh, you know there may be some adjustments after this game. Yeah. We, yeah. We, we we're just all in. We got to pull this one out. And I think there'll be adjustments between game one and game two that, that we'll see more where we're at for sure. Yeah. Well, and you, you also weren't here for spring practice either. Or well, I was, in the stands, very, I was in the stands. I was in the stands fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, no, you're right. And uh, and we're not the same team. Uh, we were going over the depth chart uh, this weekend, and uh, especially in our line. You know, we've, for one reason or another, we've lost like four or five kids that, uh, mm -hmm. for whatever reason. So we've thinned out there, which has hurt us on our JV, but we'll be fine. Um our our freshman and and sophomore group we're sort of looking at them at this, as one group yeah and uh, for next year for sure and uh, we got some good ball players there so about mid season I expect to see some younger kids stepping in good all right so let's let's jump to the comments on um, Friday night last year they start off one and four mm -hmm. they end the season going four and one and they beat Parkview Grayson Absolutely. and Brooklyn wow in, in 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 probably what is arguably the toughest region. In, yeah. in Georgia. Yeah. So they run off those and they make the playoffs. Mm -hmm. So and they were a relatively young team. So they're gonna Very come young. in they're gonna come in here Friday, kinda had that role at the end of the season. They're mm -hmm. a year more mature. They're gonna be ready to play some football, aren't they? Yeah, uh Coach Small, a good friend of mine, and uh, we had talked actually we talked last year before I, I left for Burns. They it goes right back to attitudes and long story short, they took care of a few attitudes after their one and four. Mm-hmm. And he said it was like a completely different team. Yeah, it was a completely and different team. They were, and yeah. they were young. They started a lot of freshmen last year, which means they got this bunch back for three more years. Yeah, and uh, and he does a tremendous job. They've got speed all over the field, and we have to really be uh, really smart with our defenses and our coverages, and we have to get a rush on them. Uh, they are very fast. They got a returning uh, quarterback, uh, does a great job. He ended up, I'm not positive he was the starter last year, but there was an injury mm -hmm. or uh, they, they had two different guys last year and, and this kid played a lot last year. So the film we've got on them uh, does a really good job making plays, scrambling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And again, they've got two running backs back that they actually lost in game three last year. And really good running back, really good running back. So we've got, they're a spread team. We're gonna get a lot of trips, open stuff. And uh, they're, gonna, they're gonna try to find the holes and uh, Throw the ball short to uh, guys that can score. You got to keep them in front of us. You got to keep them in front. Of they you. can roll, man. Maintain, con maintain con your outside and, containment. And they had a, and, and, and another thing. They had a really good, tough. They took. They played Buford this past week. I was going to say they scrimmaged Buford on. Buford's on, got on the one weekend. of the best. Uh, we, you know, when we were at North, we didn't ever want to say this, but uh, we always respected them. They got one of the best football teams, uh, most brutal football teams I've seen in a long time. Mm -hmm. And you know, this is preseason. You're talking. Yeah. I think they got 71 guys already. <laughs> And they just, they're so thick, and uh, and they were bigger, and they just controlled that line of scrimmage. But the thing I saw about them is those kids played uh, with great enthusiasm the whole game. When they came back out second half, uh, they they played like it was the first play of the game. And and, and, and Coach Smalls was just going to tell them straight up, you've played the best team you're going to play all year probably. Right, right. And they're going to feel confident about that. And uh, so... They got a four quarter game in, and uh, they're they're going to be uh, they're going to come in here hungry, you know. So we, we have a work cut out for us. What are you looking forward to the most on Friday night? Just getting out there and seeing what our kids can do. Um, I don't know, sort of representing Walton is a big yeah, deal, right. uh, you know. I, I hope we have a great turnout. Uh, I want to try to carry uh, carry the flag uh, the way that uh, Rocky and, and, and Ed has. And uh, my big thing is I want I want those kids uh, to always feel like there's no better place to be than Walton, yeah. and they've got a great staff uh, trying trying to make it's all about the kids, and uh, it's my job to make sure that they have the the greatest opportunities, and uh, I just want to make sure that uh, that everybody's happy. We we want uh, something to be proud of, and, and and just like everything in life, we can all improve things. We can all uh, uh, you know it's it'll be nothing for me pick the phone up call Ed or Rocky. And, and those guys, uh, it's not about me. It's about the program. It's right. about the community. It's about the school. And there's thing, there's certain things that we have that just that can't be argued with. We have the top school uh, academically. It's proven uh, one of the top schools in the nation, in in, in Georgia, and, and that's a great place to start. Yeah. And uh, so that in itself is 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 a 
it's it's just an honor to be here. It really is. And well, I feel it's an honor to have you, Coach. No, it's it's uh, it's it's it's. I would say it's a dream come true, but it's hardly a jobs like this. You don't even think it's you're yeah. ever going to have those opportunities. Yeah. And uh, I I thank God, uh, the good God above that I I got a chance to be here. And uh, I I work my butt off for everybody. Well, Friday nights in Raider Valley are special, and we've all had the opportunity, whether uh, from football as well as other sports. So. Um, you told me that your mom can't wait to see this. Hi, mama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got My your own. You got your own TV show now, and uh, sitting here with another ball guy. She, yeah. It's a, so, uh, but he did compliment me my hair, and said I did have a little bit more coverage. You have, you have more growth. I do. Thank you. I appreciate that. So, uh, so, coach, we'll just kind of end on this. Um, favorite mu- movie and favorite music. I mean, I know you're favorite. just a hard football coach, but you know, sure, surely, you know. Uh, favorite. Favorite music? I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I could say this. Not. I'm, I'm an old Kiss fan and uh, Van Halen fan. So I was at the Kiss concert three weeks ago, my Absolutely, friend. Absolutely, brother. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll wear the Kiss Army so, shirt the next the next show. So it was Coach Bellis and myself. <laughs> All yeah. right. We had staff interaction at the Kiss concert. A little Kiss and, and Def uh, Leppard. There uh, we are. Yeah, and I'm an old Blackfoot fan too. Ooh, so wow. I'm, uh, I got to get into that a little bit. And I'm a country guy, too. I like the new country stuff. It's a little train good. train and all that. Oh, man. absolutely. There you go. All right. Absolutely. See, there we go. Well, Coach, it's been a pleasure. We're going to do this a lot. We're going to talk about some great moments. Folks, this Friday night, Raider Valley, 730 South Gwinnett Comets are coming to town. Raider Valley is always the place to be on a Friday night in the fall. So we'll look forward to seeing you. This has been the Mo Dixon Show, number one. And we'll see you next week.